top three biggest causes of death are in order. Heart disease, cancer, and lung disease. These and other diseases kill as many as two and a half million people per year just in the United States. What if we could cure these and all other biological diseases along with the disease of old age so that you would become biologically immortal? This is not such a far-fetched idea. With medical advances accelerating, some scientists are saying that this is very possible within the next 40 years. And if you became biologically immortal, how long would you live before you died in an accident, homicide, suicide, or war? Just for fun, let's take a look at that. If you could not die from any biological sicknesses like heart attacks, cancer, or diabetes, then pretty much the only things that could kill you would be accidents, murder, suicide, or war. Let's look at how long you would live if that was the case. Now, I want to make you aware that most of the stats that I will be talking about are for the United States, which is an advanced and mostly safe country. If you are living in most other countries, you would likely die sooner, except for the case of homicide, which is a bit lower on average in other countries versus the United States. And the stats I'm using are used by American insurance companies to calculate life insurance rates. So let's look at your chances of dying if you're a biologically immortal. In a flood, you would live to be almost 40 million years old if the only thing that could kill you was a flood. Lightning, you would live 12 million years before you died of a lightning strike. Dog bite, nine million years. Airplane crash, 770,000 years. Drowning in a pool, You'd live to be 450,000 years before you died of drowning in a pool if that was the only thing that could kill you. Fall from stairs, 140,000 years. Killed in a fire, 120,000 years. Killed by a gun, 30,000 years. Killed in a war, 20,000 years. Murdered, 13,000 years. Now we're gonna get into some significant numbers. Died in a car accident, 9,000 years. Accidental poisoning, 7,500 years. And finally, now this is the event that is the biggest likely danger to you because after only 7,000 years, you would have a near certainty of dying by suicide if nothing else killed you before that. By the way, if you bought a lottery ticket every day for all your life, it would be 800,000 years before you won Powerball. So you have about the same chance of dying in an airplane crash as you do for winning the Powerball lottery and you would need to buy at least one ticket per day for 800,000 years. Perspective. Anyway, back to our stats. Since you could die any of these ways, and since these events are independent of each other, if we add all these chances together, you would actually have a near 100% chance of dying within 1,750 years. So that's the answer. You would live about 1,750 years before you died of something. And how are you most likely to die? Chances are, it would most likely be by a car accident, poisoning, or suicide. So now, the next question is, is there any way to have true immortality such that you could not die in an accident or any other way? Well, there is a potential technology that could make this happen. It's called digital immortality. What do I mean by this? This is the idea of downloading your brain to an advanced computer, such as a quantum computer. It doesn't exist yet, but it is not that far-fetched. With our current advances in computer technology, scientists estimate that this is also quite possible within the next 40 years. Now, it is not known whether your consciousness would be transferred. If your consciousness is not transferred in this digital download, then for all intents and purposes, you would be dead because it's possible that just your knowledge and your memories would be transferred. But if your consciousness is your knowledge and memories, and presuming that your consciousness can indeed be transferred, you could not be physically harmed by accidents or gunshots or in a war, unless it's some kind of a cyber war, I guess. And then again, there's always the danger that some good-for-nothing evil hacker could erase your brain from all the servers and delete any signs of your existence. Those damn hackers. Maybe death really is inevitable, but there's almost 100% certainty that we will be able to delay it for as long as possible.